Well, hi, it's Rob. I wanted to talk a little bit about uh, lighting systems for haunts and one of the reasons that I've gone over to using DC um, it's primarily for safety and the 110 volt or 120 volt cords that most of us are running if you're over in uh, Europe or one of the other countries you've got 200 and some um, those can be kind of dangerous and it's difficult to uh, run all the, the extension cords everywhere and you, know, you can run into some real problems. The risk of fire is high, the risk of shock. Um, with 12 volt systems it's almost impossible to get a, any kind of a dangerous shock uh, from 12 volts. I mean you can stick your hands across a car battery and nothing's gonna happen. If you have some open cuts you might feel something but it's you know you're not gonna get electrocuted. Um, another nice thing is that a lot of times some of these lighting effects are dimmable so you can put in a small DC dimmer in line and control the brightness of the lights in your scene. Uh, I want to show you some of these now. So here are some of the uh, low voltage uh, LED lights that I found that I'm using in my haunt this year. Uh, these I got a couple years ago. These are known as jewelry lights and they are a single LED uh, in this nice little container. I think that's a one watt or a one and a half watt LED. I mean, I'm pretty sure when I got these they said that they were three watt, but I really doubt that they're completely three watt LEDs. Um, the inside of this has a pretty decent little heat sink, uh, the case, so it stays relatively warm or uh, relatively cool in operation. Uh, now the one thing with these is if you're using these with uh, 12 volt power you're going to need one of these, which is an LED driver. I managed to get these from Martin P. Jones Associates. Uh, you can find them online. Now there is another one of these that's slightly different. I was able to buy these in a uh, uh, 12 piece set. And this is interesting because this comes with a single driver for 12 of these LEDs and a little inline LED dimmer that's designed for 12, 12 volts. So this is kind of nice. These are pretty much the exact same, uh, exact same lights. As you can see, they're slightly different, but they're built the same, uh, same LED in there. Uh, one of the nice things I like about these is uh, when I first bought them, I bought a variety of colors, and that was really nice but uh, those seem to have walked off from my Halloween display a couple years ago. Uh, so all I have left are the white ones and I haven't been able to find any colored ones to replace but I would be willing to bet that uh, it would be possible to replace these. And you know looking at this there's a resistor in there and there isn't in this one. So I wonder if these are a little bit different. I will have to check. Uh, these might actually use a different different kind of driver. But anyway, I'll have a look at that. I was also able to find these. These are slightly different. It's a slightly larger uh, capsule on the end. Kind of the same design. Uh, it's a different LED in there, as you can see. These are designed to run off of 12 volts by themselves. Uh, what's really nice about that is you can feed 12 volts into it, but if you cut down the voltage, they dim nicely. So these are actually nice dimmable LEDs. They've got a pretty decent uh, articulation on them and they are the screw together mount uh, that is pretty nice you can put these in a lot of different places
and just like before I was able to get these in a set of six with uh, some little glue-on magnetic mounting pieces uh, some sticky tabs and screws for, for mounting and find it in here in the very bottom somewhere in here <laughs> there it is okay down in the very bottom there is a driver LED power supply LED driver for six of these LEDs uh, this as far as I can tell is not dimmable um, I haven't tried it yet, uh, putting it on a, on a dimmer, but uh, that's something that I'm planning on doing before I get too far in the next year. Uh, then a couple more niceties that I found. These are designed for cars to add as uh, running lights or uh, small indicator lights. Um, this one has two different colors. It's got a white and an amber. And these I was able to get in various different LED colors. So I think I got red, green, and blue ones. Uh, I'll show you what these look like. So this is the, uh, the red LED, the little one. Um, I guess it's kind of tough to uh, show you the actual color light, but it is very red. Um, it's a nice LED red. Um, Considerably brighter than expected when you're uh, when you're seeing it for the first time. I don't know the longevity of these. I haven't started using these yet. I just got them this year, um, but I wanted to try and play with them. One of the things I wanted to do was get this two-liter bottle, and just for the heck of it, I'm gonna see what this looks like. Not sure what that would do yet, but it's an interesting sort of effect. Uh, huh, okay. Kind of interesting. Anyway, I like playing plates. It's a lot of fun. Now here's the other one with both the uh, amber and the white. So that is the, uh, the white side. It's kind of a cool white. Oops. And that's the amber color. It's kind of in that warmish category. It's, it's a little more yellow than a warm white bulb. Uh, and together, they actually offer kind of a nice balanced warmish light. Again, quite bright. So these are the lights that I've been using for, well, that I'm planning on using anyway, for, you know, like inside of pumpkins or doing small spotlights on props. I've been using these almost exclusively now um, to light up tombstones. The, uh, I'm using um, pill bottles, you know, like uh, prescription bottles, to uh, cover over them to change the colors. I've got some blue ones, some regular yellow ones and some of the uh, I got one that's red uh, but because of the way that these are built it would be very easy to put on just a bit of red like a red cellophane or you know some kind of a colored cellophane or uh, you could even get one of those uh, gel sampler books and cut out small circles out of that to fit in here uh, they're really quite versatile I'm quite happy that I got these so I'll find out more about these in the next run. To see what they uh, see what those other ones run off of because I like being able to individually control these and dim them. So find out more on that later. Now I want to talk about a little bit about these flame lights. Uh, these I got a little over a year ago. These two I just got this year. Um, the flame light, the LED flame light, 
and the LED flame buil. Buil? Anyway, uh, these are the ones that I got first, and uh, these are the ones that are the most sturdily made. Uh, there are two in a pack. I don't know if I can find the same manufacturer. I got them from Amazon. But they look like this once you uh, once you take them apart, or uh, once you unpack them. Uh, it's a regular Edison screw-in bulb. On the inside of it, there is this cute little power supply that runs these. Now these turned out to be a 12 volt power supply. I assumed that that was what was going to happen with all of them uh, until I tried these. And these turn out to be a 5 volt power supply. And so I have a trophy now. That's the uh, one of these that got blown up. So but you can see the, the pattern of the lights and how they uh, how they uh, are arranged on here. I think I counted and there's 90, 96 or 9, no, 98, I think. Either 98 or 99. And they seem to go in groups of three, so I haven't yet figured out the uh, entire uh, reverse engineering of that. Uh, that was the same, they had this little power supply in there, but this is a 5 volt power supply. So if you're going to be using these as uh, a DC, uh, remember to check your voltage first, otherwise you will blow them up. These are kind of interesting, I got a couple of these, I haven't taken these apart yet, but uh, I got a couple of these that are different colors, and for instance this one is blue. Um, I also got some that are RGB. I haven't turned those on yet. I, it's been uh, a little hectic here, so uh, I just wanted to try and go through these a little bit with you. You can check out uh, previous videos where I've used these lanterns or used these flame lights, taken them apart, how to uh, how to wire them up, how to use them. Um, I like them. They're quite nice. And the nice part about the running them off of uh, a DC voltage is if you lower the DC voltage, they dim. And they dim quite well. These especially looked fantastic. Um, these guys, not quite as good, but they're still pretty good. I haven't tried these yet, so. Another one I found were these LED strip lights. Uh, these are pretty much, um, I think I like them for work lights or things that you want to, I guess, look sort of like they're lit from a fluorescent bulb. It's pretty even light, uh, fairly well distributed. It's a fairly nice color. Um, these could work really well for uh, uh, shooting. You know, if you want to use, if you want to have uh, lights on a character or on a particular thing, uh, these work really well for that. Um, I haven't tried these with a the dimmer. Uh, let's see what happens. Yes, these do dim. These are a little different. You may have seen these before. Uh, I found these a couple years ago, and uh, they do something that I kind of like. Turn the lights down. I think these are called meteor lights or shower lights. Uh, after a while they will lose synchronization. You can tell they're starting to separate a little bit. Um, but the first thing that I thought of when I saw these was to use them for emergency lighting. Like have these uh, on the very bottoms of walls or uh, maybe embedded in the floor so that in case there was an emergency and you needed to guide people on the way out to exits that you could have these light up and people would follow them to the nearest fire exit or whatever was there. There's plenty of other uses for them, uh, but it's a unique enough look that I thought it was kind of fun. I haven't worked this into a haunt yet. I'm not sure. I, I'm not doing a walkthrough hunt at this point. So I, I 
haven't used them for that, but I might find a use for them for something else. I'm not sure yet, but that's why we experiment, right? So I hope that was at least informational. Uh, hopefully you can take something away from it and maybe get lighting in your own haunts and improve what you've already got going on. Uh, if you do, I'd like to see it. Send me pictures. Send me videos. Uh, anyway, happy haunting, and I'll see you next time. Oh, hi, it's Rob <laughs> and the talks. <laughs> hi, Piper. Hello, Piper. Yes. Oh.